What is up my Dragon Champions family, Bones88 here, and we have a pretty cool patch note for this month. Um, there's a few things going on. We're over here on Discord and we're going to read the patch notes like we always do, and I have a little bit of test server footage I can show you, the, show you of the new character and a couple other things. So, let's not make this too long, let's get right into it, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. Alright, spring is coming to Corridor. Corridor, Corridor. To celebrate the season, our heroes will be holding a health day festival. Get to meet new healer heroes this month who will keep your squad healthy and ready for any battle. Awesome. Didn't expect a new festival. I'm always excited for a festival, aka an event, because you do get free stuff. It's not always overwhelming of stuff, but hey, it's free things. Pretty cool. It says, take part in festive activities later this month to get some awesome prizes and rare items. We've been listening to your recent feedback and assessing the performance of the tower, and in this update we are rebalancing this difficulty. Besides that, we are squashing some nasty bugs and implementing new features and quality life improvements. Thank you! I'm an in-game player for over a year, and I still can't beat hard tower mode. Thank you. I shouldn't have to be number one in my arena to beat hard tower mode. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here's new in the update 1.4.49 coming this week. Okay, so we have a new hero. Uh, she's a dwarf and a healer, and her name is Rally. She will be coming soon to the game, although we don't know how that's going to be, but it's definitely not Battle Pass, obviously, so I'm excited to see how she's brought in. I'm guessing maybe just a hard node. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it. Let's jump over real quick. We're going to go ahead and go over her kit real quick too while we're here. All right, guys. So we have Rowley, the dwarf healer. She's putting off a back to the future um, slash pirate vibe. Um, she looks pretty cool. Another thing is I didn't know about this girl. We have not ever seen her. I don't think much anyone else knew about her either. So this is a huge surprise to testers and everyone. Um, she has H on her bum and on her little, which is cool. I like that. Using the the vial to keep her hair up. That's pretty funny. Um, she looks cool. I'm excited about her. Um, once again, this is the first time I'm looking at her too. So you and I are learning all about her right this very second. And you know XMG and all them, they'll, they'll do a lot more in-depth reviews on them. But let's just go through her kit to see what we're dealing with real quick. So on her passive, on level 7... Uh, it says, at the start of the turn, Rally gains 5% charge for each gnome ally, okay, with health below 100%. It doubles charge gain for allies with health below 50%. At the end of the turn, for every 5% charge gives the ally with the lowest health shield equal to 10% of her magical damage. Loses 10% charge upon taking damage. That's a little um, confusing. But the first take from this is Gnome Ally. Uh, some other people, content creators, or something might know about the Gnome Ally, but this is the first time I'm hearing about them. Is someone going to put out summons or duplicates or what, minions that are gnomes? That sounds like what a... It being a gnome, like a smaller dwarf, sounds like it's a minion. I don't know about that. But I'm very interested, and this is also the first time I'm hearing about dwarves summoning something so that's exciting maybe there's something in her kit we'll find out that's very interesting and the rest of her passive just seems like she is losing and gaining charge depending on where the gnome and other allies health is and she's giving shield out depending on where her charge is and all that so pretty cool um so on her third ability it's called loop the loop it removes two debuffs from herself Gains a cheat death, a dodge increased, and a haste for two turns. That's pretty big. Restores 25% health. Stim gains taunt for one turn. Okay, so there's another person or something we don't know about. Um, consumes 25% charge. For every 5% consumed, restores 15% turn meter. Okay, there's a lot there. First of all, cheat death, dodge increase, and haste. Haste and dodge increase, that's freaking huge. Um, I don't know what her stats are, but I'm going to say she's going to be a little squishy if she's getting haste and dodge increase for two turns. And you're restoring health on it. So all that sounds like a 
awesome, and it is awesome, but something tells me she's going to be a little squishy. And then you got Stim. Gains taunt for one turn. Is Stim a minion? I mean, we'll keep looking here on our kit, so maybe we're going to learn something more. Who is Stim? Is Stim another dwarf? That, I don't know. That's very interesting. And then, uh, she's restoring turn meter also. So, so far, pretty cool. I like what her kit's bringing. She looks pretty cool. Alright, so here's Stim Pack. Maybe this is brings in Stim. Heals all allies for 600% of Rally's magical damage. So it sounds like she's going to be wanting to be modded for damage. Because that affects how much she heals. Um, consumes 25% charge. For every 5% charge consumed, gives a random ally an armor increase, tenacity increase, and a regeneration for two turns. And uh, this might be a fun one for regeneration uh, team that XMG came out with a week or so ago. So you're going to want your charge up quite a bit when you use this so that you can spread as much armor increase, tenacity, and regeneration out as you can. But I I'd like to see um, XMG test this out on his uh, rege regen team. Alright, and then for her basic, she deals 300% magical damage to the target, inflicts accuracy decrease for two turns, restores 25% of charge to herself and stim if the target had full health. So yeah, not bad, but I'm wondering who the stim character is, and when will we see him? Um, surely it's going to be soon. And they said like they're going to have some healers in the patch notes, so maybe there's more characters we don't know about. I don't think that's the case, because they're only giving this character to us right now. So I don't know. I'm very interested to see who Stim is, but with that being said, Rally looks cool. I love her look. Um, cool little Easter eggs. Love the kit. And hopefully she is you know, a good addition to the dwarves. So with that being said, let's jump back over to Discord real quick. Alright, next up. Bar and Rail Hero Stones have been added to the Battlegrounds shop. I know everyone hates Battlegrounds shop and putting the everything there, but that's that's what they're going to do. You have a new character that's going to be farmable, they put them in the Battlegrounds shop. Um, it's not bothering me anymore. You know, uh, They're slowly starting to move people out of there. Um, they need to, if they're adding bar and rail, they need to take someone else out of there. But whatever. I'm not mad about that. I'm just glad that he is farmable. Or they are farmable. Oh, here we go. Rebalanced normal and hard tower. It will now be easier to complete. I don't care how easy it is. If it's easier to where I can complete it, even with a little bit of effort or none at all, I don't care anymore. I want to be able to hit. Um, I want to be able to hit auto on hard tower mode. And I am sick of every time I try, I get stuck on the last two nodes because where it's at right now, it's based on the where you are in arena in your arena chart. And guess what? With this, no offense, but stupid arena rework they did, it's now more than it's more impossible than ever to complete. But now they're fixing it, so thank you, thank you, Play Quantum. That is awesome. I've been asking this for at least six months, eight months. Um, so so happy about that. I can't say enough about it. Everyone, I know everyone's been playing it for you know a few months. Is like, thank you, Lord. So, there's nothing wrong about it. It's not going to screw anyone over. It's not going to mess up, you know, you know, the progress of players or anything. It's not, it's just a great fix and it's been a long time coming. Thank you Play Quantum. That is awesome. Uh, they also added personal challenges to Zappy and Bar and Rail. So, it, they've been releasing characters without the Gear 12 challenges. So, all they're doing is just adding them to Zappy and Bar and Rail. Uh, the same thing happened with Wukong. He didn't start out with one, but shortly after they they put him in there. So that's cool. Your saved defense team's roster in the battlegrounds is now saved and carried over to the next season. No need to set it all from scratch when the new season begins. Yes, I didn't know that was something they were working on, but that was very annoying. You know, for the month, the the season, the battlegrounds month. You can just hit defense, and it uses the same defense over. But as soon as that season's over and the new one starts, you can't do that. You have to start all the way over and make all your teams and everything. Uh, now, you can pretty much use the same defense for the next six years if you want. I don't suggest you do that, but you can if you want. So, awesome play, Quantum. Great fixes. They're small, but big fixes that I'm very, very excited about. 
and it will make quality of life in this game a lot better. So, so far, this is a small but great update, and I'm very excited about it to take place. So, getting into the festival, it's, it's called Health Day, and it begins March, March 20th. You take part in competitive and special events, tournament, earn special health coins, and spend them on epic items and hero stones in the special Health Day shop. So, from what I take it, it's going to be exactly like every other uh, festival event that there is. You do special tournaments, you know, just you pretty much do what you do every day, but now you get rewarded these health coins or whatever the coin is of the event, and they have a special shop for you, and I don't know how much they last, maybe a month. I think it's only like two weeks or something they usually last, and you spend those Drake coins on, like they said, rare shards or rare... Um, gear or maybe legendary mats or something. So it's up to you what you want to spend it on. But they, they do give you some pretty good stuff to spend those coins on. So it's just like every other festival. So if you've done that before, you know what to expect. Um, it says competitive events will now have a review time that will last one day after the event has ended. Thus you will be able to see who's the winner. So I didn't really care, you know, but a lot of people want to know who won, where was I at in the tournament. And before, as soon as those events, the competitive events were over, you could not see it. Which is, yeah, kind of bullcrap because, you know, I'm not mad about that. But, you know, it's just, it's just a given, like a thing that should be already there. So, good job on that. Also, ads for bonus energy have been removed from the game. All champions will now get 120 campaign energy and 30 runic energy three times a day without having to watch video ads. And players who have made purchases in the game for $5 or more are going to get a 60 bonus campaign energy and 30 runic energy on top of that. Okay, I'm a little confused on what they mean. When I first started out, I remember I had to watch uh, ads for the game to get bonus energy. I didn't care. You know, I felt like I was getting something ahead of people. Well, that stopped. And I think that might be whenever I started paying for it. I don't know how, the, how this works. But I think if you... It must be whenever you pay five dollars or more those ads go away i'm guessing that's what happened um i don't know that don't take that to heart but you know i don't i do not know but they're changing that around to i don't think you have to watch ads at all is what it's saying so they're com completely taking that ad thing out hopefully they're making enough money where they don't need that anymore and if you have paid five dollars or more i guess you're getting a whole more 60 bonus campaign and runic energy on top of that i guess for the rest of your life I don't know, guys. It's a little. Com I don't know how it works, and it's a little confusing. But um, balance changes. It says rebalance Patriarch Chi first personal challenge. So it must have been too hard. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. But obviously, it needed some rebalancing. Um, bug fixes addresses issues in competitive event quests. Addressed issues with player rankings display. They are now showing the correct placings and other small fixes and improvements. So I don't know what all that is, but uh, they addressed it. So. Oh, and real quick, guys, I completely skipped over it. Rantha and Corcoran has received new hero models. So this is a good way to end the video. Let's jump right over to the test server and let's check them out real quick. All right, so first up, we have Rantha. Whoa, okay. Look at this, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow, good job, Play Quantum. Good job, and look at that. Come on, guys. You know what that is, don't you? You know what that is. That's the Easter egg for Winnie the Pooh. It has to be. It looks just like his pot of honey he always eats. That he, battle poo. Now I don't have to make fun of his name because he looks like a badass. Look at that. Got his claws going. She looks great. Oh, man. I like the little green they added to her hair. So you can kind of tell her, I mean, she looks completely different. She looks unrecognizable. And you got a chameleon down here. You know, I don't really know their models, you know, by heart. So there might be some things I didn't notice that were there before. But I don't remember there being a chameleon. Awesome, guys. Awesome. One, this is one of my favorite reworks model-wise. That's cool, man. You guys did a great job. I really like that. All right. Well, that's an A++++ for me. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, now let's jump over to Corcoran. He's also an orc. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Okay. All right. Um. Okay. I mean, doesn't really look too different. 
I'm guessing they're just really trying to add pixels and details. Um, I don't hate it. I just don't think it's that big of a difference. I miss staff looks cooler. I don't know if that skull was there, but if it was, you know, it looks a little more real, realistic. Um, you know, his face inside there looks cooler. Obviously added some details to his belt and things hanging from it. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate it. I just don't think it looks that much different. And they don't necessarily have to. Look at that. Watch this. He had like a little aura going around on the top of his... Well, you, you'll see it. I didn't... Re... There it is. Yeah, they got a little aura going around there. So that's pretty cool. All right. I don't... You know, a B. Because he doesn't look that crazily different. But it still adds detail to it and looks pretty good. So not too shabby. All right, guys. That's the patch notes for this uh, month's update i'm excited about the event i'm excited about the new character i'm excited about most of all the tower changing and i just want to say great job play quantum as, as soon as i kind of start getting bored or whatever they at least come out with an update they're always updating this game uh you can't say the same thing about galaxy of heroes you get an update every four months or so just hats off to you guys um i know you guys are working your butts off a lot of people are talking about the game dying, and I'm going to talk about that more in uh, a video me and XMG are doing here in a couple days. But guys, the game's not dying. It's not dying. I can't say anything, but I ask uh, what they were working on, and I'm telling you guys, it is worth the wait. I'm telling you, I can't say any more than that. But just know that something big will be coming here eventually. So hang in there. I know you guys are getting bored. But they keep giving us new characters to kind of hold us over until something big comes. And just know that they're always working on something. Once they got done with Battlegrounds, they started working on something else. And I can't say anything, but just know that there's something big coming down the road. So just hang in there, guys. I know you're getting frustrated, but they're updating this thing sometimes twice a month. That's, that's huge for a developer. I know that they've kind of cut back on communication, but maybe they're just busy. You know, we don't know what's going on in their lives, what's going on in the company. And so just the game's not dying, guys. So uh, I know that feeling is kind of happening, but it's not dying. They're putting out content constantly. They don't have to keep giving you, you know, three or four characters a month. But just know that they are. And that's a lot. You know, it's not easy just to come up with a character model and kits that work with the game and not break them and stuff like that. So cut them some slack, guys. Play Quantum. I give you guys props. You're always tweaking this game to where eventually, two or three years down the road, this game will be perfect. And there's always going to be stuff to do. And there won't be a lot of complaints, especially quality of life-wise. The tiniest quality of life things can make a huge difference. And they're doing a great job. And I'm so happy about that tower mode. So... With that being said, guys, give them some, cut them some slack, have some patience, because that's what these games are about. Especially if you're free to play, this game is about patience. These games, Hero Collectors, are about patience. So I say this all the time, every once in a while, just be patient, hold in there, and I promise you that this game is not dying. It's only going to get better. So, with that being said, I love all you guys. I appreciate all the support you guys are getting me. Slowly this channel is growing and growing more often and I love just talking to everybody join the discord And if you guys like what you see, you know, please help me out and you know hit the like hit the subscribe I try not to push that at all But if you guys could help me out just do that for me with that being said you guys have a good day and I'll see you next time peace